the devils live below us, I call them skull crawlers. Why? Because it sounds neat. Okay. Look, I just made that name up. I'm trying to scare you. Hi, right, welcome back to Bangers and Mash at the Movies. And this week, we're going bananas. I'm fine calling them that. Are you cool with that? Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. I good. like the name. Like okay, this week, things are getting hairy as we take a look at the 2017 film Kong Skull Island. Monster film. <laughs> yeah. So this film is a reboot. It is supposed to be set in the Monsterverse. It's, it's, yeah, the second film in the Monsterverse. So what was, what was the first film in the Monsterverse? Is that Godzilla? I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't really look at what the Monsterverse was. Because normally the Monsterverse, you know, is like King Kong, Godzilla. All Maybe the... it's talking about the one that fucking What's-His-Nuts did. I don't know. Jack Black one? I don't know. Fuck it. It's film two in the Monsterverse. <laughs> An uncharted island. Let me list all the ways you're gonna die. <laughs> so, uh, it was directed by Jordan Vlocht. 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 I don't know, some weird name. Yeah, so he signed on to do the next uh, Metal Gear Solid movie, or the, the first Metal Gear Solid movie, yeah, I should say. Uh, there was really nothing notable or even recognizable that the guys filmed. Yeah. Pretty lucky guy to be able to be given. Pretty much, man. Rain. Heat, disease carrying flies, and we haven't started on the things that want to eat your life. So it's got like Tom Hiddleston, it's got Samuel Jackson, John Goodman, like so many characters. Yeah. We'll double that. Plus a bonus if we make it back. If? Alright, so the movie like opens up with a bit of, I guess, a prequel. It uh, takes place in 1944 during World War II. Uh, we basically see two fighter jets go down and uh, the pilots parachute to an island. Uh, they basically start like hand-to-hand -hand kind of fighting or whatever on land, uh, only basically to be interrupted by like a big-ass monster. Uh, yeah, so basically flash forward, it's now 1973, Vietnam, all that shit. Which I want to add in, I didn't know it was based in 1973. I didn't know that Looking either. at the trailer. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I actually loved the fact that it took place in 1973. It had a good feel about it because of that. Is that a monkey? Oh my God. Yeah, basically you have a government agent guy. He's like hires a skilled tracker uh, to lead basically this expedition to this unknown island, uh, Skull Island, that they know it as. Uh, the government agent also hires a group of like Vietnam helicopter pilots. Uh, yeah, it's like literally the Vietnam War has just ended. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, also a photojournalist to basically obviously capture pictures of it. Uh, the photojournalist chick believes that like the whole thing is just like some secret military operation. Yeah, she kind of hears it through the grapevine and like ends up getting on board with it. So the, the island itself is pretty cool. Yeah. Right? So they fly through this nasty storm, and the storm is like, like a big ring around all around it, yeah. it, right? And it's like, oh, well, because we finally have a satellite, we found this, like, uncharted, you know? Yeah. So they fly through the storm, and when they get on the other side, it's, like, clear. Yeah. Uh, they fly over Skull Island, and they stop dropping bombs. They start dropping bombs, saying that they're doing, like, a geographical yeah. survey and stuff. And you're like, oh, okay, you know, that, I guess that makes sense. And then, like, all of a sudden, there's fucking... A bunch of wild, giant monsters, I guess. Well, like, first it's, like, King Kong. Yeah. And it's just, like, not to spoil anything, but he just, like, destroys their plans. Yeah. Right? Yeah, basically hits the helicopter. Takes the helicopters down, and now everyone's, like... All scattered, essentially. Now everyone's on the island, and really there's no way off. They have to... It's they have like a recon thing in three days or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like the, the, here. the pick up in three days, you know, like the. It, it, that's about as basic as the plot is. Yeah. It's revealed that the real reason why they came is uh, to prove that these monsters do exist or. Yeah, it Things was nothing happened. to do with geological survey. It yeah. was more, he, Buddy wanted to prove monsters existed. No one fucking believed him when he told him. Things that had happened in the past that he was trying to, like, make people believe. Yeah. So. Uh, 
So yeah, one of the surviving groups comes across a group of uh, local natives to the Kong Island or whatever, Skull Island. Uh, this group of local uh, natives is a man named Marlo. Uh, Marlo reveals to the survivors that Kong is actually not their enemy, that uh, he's in fact seen as a guardian or like a god to them. Uh, the real enemy is something else, but uh, to keep this review spoiler free and shit like that, we're just going to kind of leave it at that. That's Kong. He's God on the island. We don't belong here. You know what? I I liked the movie yeah, for that reason, but I thought the I thought the indigenous people they did better in the the one with Jack Black. Yeah. The indigenous people were a bit more like you know, like about to like savagely kill you. These ones just seemed all beaten and just kind of like yeah, they were just like so, yeah, I guess they were a peaceful tribe. They were a peaceful tribe. Uh, the soundtrack to the movie was great because it was based in, like, 1973. Yeah, you got all those psychedelic kind of riffs and yeah. shit. You'll recognize a lot of the music. You will, you will recognize a lot of music. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the movie has an overall, like, real serious tone to it, but you do get that kind of occasional campy feel you do expect with this type of movie. Uh, that was, I guess, pretty good. Yeah, the Kong, like, it, Kong looked great. Yeah, oh, yeah, when he's just towering over everything and shit, it just... I'm going to save it just for a bit, because I'm going to go into it just in the... Yeah, so basically, when it comes down to it, what did you think of Kong Island? Or Kong? Skull, Skull Island. Run! So, I walked into it pretty open-eyed. Oh, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be like another, uh, you know, Godzilla remake, you know, the way that they went with that. Yeah. Um, there's more, t there's more large monsters on the island than it, than it leads on. Than it leads on, definitely, right? yeah. Like, the Jack Black version had, like, him fight, fighting, like, a Tyrannosaurus, and it was like, oh, that's badass. Yeah. But this one has way more large animals, and the stuff is... Variation of large animals. Variation it's not like of large one animals. one large animal, yeah. And the scaling. Yeah, oh, The scaling yeah. is nice because it's believable. I didn't see, and I, the first time I saw Kong, I thought, I was like, he seems bigger than, than you would think. Yeah, like, you see him and he's like, at least like... You think he's just like, oh, like, you know, really store. tall, but it's like, he's like, holy fuck, he's like a hundred feet. Like, yeah, yeah, he's he not, really is. He's, he's like, like ten stories feet, like tall. Hundred, yeah. Like, you're, like, up to his, like, ankle bone. Yeah, yeah, he's so much bigger than you'd expect. Really? I don't know any... I, I didn't so know pro, how... So, those are your those pros? Those are the pros, the okay. pros. The scaling, everything looked great. You know, the mon the other monsters yeah, on the, the island. music, yeah. The music. There's nothing else to say about, you know, any bad... I found a few. <laughs> okay, well, let's hear your Okay, review. well, what did, what, did you, what did you give it? Uh, about, uh, six. Six out of ten? Six out of ten. Wasn't quite the greatest thing for you? You know, like, it could have been better, but what do you expect from, like, monster movies? Or, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what did you think about Kong Skull Island? Uh, Alright, um... So the pros, like you said, Kong looked great. Uh, it was basically great eye candy, uh, great music. It's already been said. Uh, it had a real classic Kong feeling storyline. Like it was believable. It was nice, fast paced. It didn't get brought down and sluggish at times. Uh, it's also nice to see this kind of movie because maybe like it'll bring some new blood, new life to like that the the monster genre. We had a. The Godzilla one. Now we got the King Kong. It's like let's, let's see if you know these movies keep going. I mean, it's a good genre. I don't see why it wouldn't. You yeah, know, whatever Cloverfield. Yeah, keeps bringing Cloverfield out. keeps bringing shit out. Uh, the cons, though, sometimes the campiness didn't feel good in the movie. I felt it felt out of place, like a forced humor. Yeah, you felt it was more real like... serious tone to it, and then it's like it's almost like they should have stayed with the serious tone rather than trying like shoehorn in some like humor and ha ha ha. Yeah. And I don't know, I could almost go as far as to say like some of the casting choices were a little questionable. They worked, and I get it, they don't... I don't want to give... Like John C. Riley. I'm just going to flat out say, like, I don't know, felt like a bad choice. I get it, you don't want him to be typecasted. He has been in serious roles before and stuff, like, so it's not out of the realm, but it just, 
it felt out of place for him in this movie. On the roles, but not to give too much away, you think John Goodman's character has more to do with oh, it. Oh, you think he's the main character? The, the way, yeah, the way I thought the, he was the trailer did it. Oh, yeah. It's like John Goodman and everyone else around him, where it doesn't end up being about John Goodman John at all. Goodman's kind of an afterthought, it felt like. You know, even... But, but yeah, and let's not give anything about that away. So, like, I don't, I don't know, I feel like we're talking too much about the characters, even. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10. It was an awesome movie. Uh, probably not be remembered as one of the classics, no. though. Just like the new Godzilla. No one really wants to accept it as like a new classic, so I have a feeling it'll kind of fall under that realm. This has been another Bangers and Mash. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, check us out on Vidme. Uh, we have a YouTube gaming channel, Bangers and Mash Live, Facebook or Twitter. And I guess until next time, this is Bangers and Mash saying, Fuck off!